games can actually communicate stories in a very effective way and get me to feel something quite profound in a way that I thought only really good films or really good books could help me feel. But, like basically making games is really complicated. Um, speaking from experience, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's super hard. It's part of the reason why it's fun as well. In Unity, you can basically do anything. This is one of those points in time where you shift from creativity is, is to some extent restricted by having the money to be a company to afford to make something, to, oh, actually, this creative medium is available to everyone. Game engines, it's a tool. It's a tool to make and monetize video games for years and, and decades, really. If you wanted to make a game, your only option was to work for a company and you could use their proprietary technology. Or you would have to pay, you know, insane amounts of money to, to license a game engine that existed. Unity really lowered that barrier to entry. My name is Matthew Newcomb. I'm a lead developer at us Two Games. The thing I've done for a long time is programming. My plan was to actually stop making computer games. Yeah. But then this sudden explosion of indie games, the creative space the gaming medium had exploded. I literally went from, I don't want to work in this industry anymore, to suddenly being revitalized. It was Unity. Unity was suddenly a platform where an individual could produce something that they could then release in their own time. And well, it was free. My name is Leah Schoenfelder. I'm a lead game designer at Us2 Games. For every game, you need creativity, but also technical skill. And traditionally, you would have it in form of two different people. Unity helps bridge that gap. Designers and artists and coders collaborate on the design of the game together. My name is Ryan Payton. And I'm the founder and CEO of Camouflage. A lot of my fascination stems from not only the entertainment value of video games, but also the technology that drives it. You know, I've always grown up loving the, the bigger games, the AAA games. Years ago, I'm working for a very prominent video game company making the Halo games. But I was not equipped to navigate this larger company and this larger organization, I think. And I left. The next day, I was working on my own. Republic, downloading Unity. We were so inspired by what was happening in the industry. Maybe weirdos like me could still do something that's high quality and meaningful and played by millions of people. Triple A quality. Creativity comes first. And making sure we're financially stable is part of that. There's this whole other side to game development, which is how to make revenue. I remember this revolution when you could download a new game and you could pay money for it through your credit card. This was arguably one of the biggest moments in video game development history. This small company selling on the same storefronts as these $100 million AAA endeavors. We could have a seat at that table. The two main ways that you can generate revenue are either through in-game advertisements or in-app purchases like extra lives for finishing a level. It's important not only to be able to make the game, but also be able to monetize these games. What is unique about Unity? Our whole mission is to enable developer success. We want to help developers build a robust business. We provide a set of tools to build those long-term relationships with your players and generate revenue out of your game through advertising or in-app purchase, because at the end of the day, you have to run a business to make a profit so that you can create more games. And then you have multiplayer games. The hardware infrastructure to support this, especially when you have thousands and thousands of players playing your game at the same time, is an enormous undertaking. People are playing games with people that don't even share the same language, aren't even the same hemisphere. Unity has a service called Multiplay that can take your game from one player to 10 players to 1,000 players to 10,000. And this is only the beginning. The future of Unity is enabling developers like us 
who want to get closer and deeper into the code base. That's why, for example, they're investing very, very heavily into systems like DOTS. Computer processing power has started to max out. DOTS is a framework that more easily allows Unity to take advantage of multiple processes. It's giving the developers the tools to write code the way that they want to write code, to be as performant as possible, which then enables these teams to make these beautiful worlds in ways that they've never been able to build them before. With Unity, anybody with an idea that they care about can try to make something good. I think if you open your eyes and you see where this is all headed, there's more interactivity. There are more ways of interconnecting people. And the one way to build that is through an incredible technology that millions of people are already using. And that technology is unity.